So having seen the general principle that monopoly power leads to higher prices, we can see how that works out in the context of supermarkets. Now, supermarkets have got quite fierce competition, a few large producers competing amongst themselves. But once the shopper is committed to one particular supermarket, they're not going to go to the time and cost and trouble of going somewhere else for a few extra groceries. So once they're committed, the supermarket has some monopoly power and therefore some control over the price that it sets to the shopper. Why do firms use their monopoly power to mark up some products so much more heavily than others? The answer is to be found in the relationship between monopoly power and elasticity of demand. So we need to examine that relationship and then we can use what we discover to relate it to prices in supermarkets. In order to develop our ideas on supermarket markups, we need next to consider the relationship between price and elasticity of demand. Now let's begin with our idea that marginal revenue is DTR by DQ. Now since TR is the product of P and Q, we can use the product rule to differentiate it. If U is equal to P and V equals Q, then DU by DQ equals DP by DQ and DV by DQ equals DQ by DQ, which equals 1. By the product rule, marginal revenue MR equals U times DV by DQ plus V times DU by DQ, which equals P plus Q times DP by DQ, which equals P times 1 plus Q over P times DP by DQ. Now, P over Q times DQ by DP is equal to E, where E equals the price elasticity of demand. So, inverting both sides, Q over P times DP by DQ equals 1 over E. Now, substituting this into our expression for MR, we get that MR equals P times 1 plus 1 over E. This is the inverse elasticity pricing rule. This relationship between marginal revenue and demand elasticity has many uses. Here we focus on one of them. It gives us another way of expressing the monopolist's profit maximizing condition. If we call the profit maximizing price P star and the profit maximizing quantity Q star, then P star times 1 plus 1 over E equals MC times Q star. Because remember that when profit maximizing, marginal cost has to equal marginal revenue. Rearranging that, P star minus MC star over P star equals minus 1 over E. Now that's important because the left-hand expression is the markup on marginal cost expressed as a proportion of the price. If you look at the expression, the more price elastic, the smaller is the profit maximizing markup. 